Thanks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Films Shortwave channel. And today we're going to be looking at um, an old radio handbook. Uh, purchased this off on um, our Oxfam website. I was going to do like a Secret Santa thing, and the idea was spend £5 and it has to be from a charity shop. Well, I got that a gift, and I thought, so while I was on that website, why not see what radio stuff they got? And they've got, got like these default like radio shows on CDs, and I thought, nah, that's boring. But then I um, saw this little beauty, and I thought, well, why not? You know, something a bit different. It is from uh, America, so um, it's slightly different. Look at the radio handbook by the editors of Radio, published and distributed by Radio Limited, 1300 Kenwood Road, Santa Barbara, California. It's uh, quite an uh, old book from uh, first printing is in October 1939, so it's ancient compared to today's standards. So uh, thought it would be quite interesting to have a little leaf through uh, Instruction to Amateur Radio. How to obtain your license. Let's just zoom in here a bit. Obtain an amateur transmitting license from the US government. You must be a civilian of the USA, master the code, no ha how much are the transmitters? And the receivers work, how they must be adjusted. Um, actually, I'm using a different camera this time, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, Class C license details. What bands you allow to lower, depending on what license you have. Starting your study, learning the code. Something I need to do. Morse code, etc. I must get back onto learning that. Quite a lot of uh, technical information, audio frequency amplifiers, types of vacuum tubes, so it's really showing its age. Let's have a leaf through what else have you got. Audio frequency amplifiers, linear tank circuits, got, got quite a few uh, interesting looking pictures here, so uh, what's you got? Super heterodyne circuits. That's what you got. Uh, characteristics, characteristics on receiving tubes. Uh, socket connections. Three tube super heterodyne circuits. That's radio receiver construction, so that'll be quite interesting. Super het super gain of super heterodyne. It might be worth um, having a study this a bit further. I might see if we can um, replicate something like this. I wouldn't be able to do it with uh, transmitters because obviously my um, foundation license prevents me from making my own transmitting equipment. So maybe one day I'll have to upgrade to the uh, intermediate when I get time. And I've got a load of QSL cards to get rid of before I do that. Compact long wave receiver. New HFRC Super Het High Gain uh, Pre Selector High Frequency Converters Quartz Crystals Frequency Multipliers <laughs> Keying Systems Plate Modulation RF Inverse Feedback uh, You got a little information about transmitting tubes and their uh, Characteristics, so let's, let's zoom into a random one. Let's um, H34 RCA UHF amplifier and oscillator frequency range up to 350 megacycles. Yeah, everything's in hertz and kilohertz these days. Characteristics filament voltage, filament current, amplification factor, grid to plate capacitance. And quite, if you can hear, if you can listen quite closely, you can hear my head exploding because I have no idea. Something else I have to learn in the new year. Maybe make it a New Year's resolution or something. <laughs> 10 watt electron coupled exciter. What the hell one of them is. Some of these um, transmitters and receivers, they look, they look quite. Would you say artistic? You can stick, stick that in the body uh, an art gallery and charge people to see it. Why not? K 
condensers, speech and modulation equipment, amplify drivers, 600 watt speech and modulator unit, good god, a uh, bit on power supplies, filter chokes, voltage regulators, bias supplies, 150 watt phone transmitter, they look, they look really interesting, measurement equipment, Uh, forgive the noise in the background, we've got Hurricane Deirdre this time. 10 watt mobile transmitter. A uh, bit on antennas, transmission lines, etc. Universal couplers, collinear antennas. Measuring equipment. High sensitivity FS meter. Test equipment, tools and equipment if you're building stuff. Power drills and drillings. <laughs> Drilling even. Very interesting stuff. And I think the most interesting stuff is the um obviously the Q codes, the Q signals. I how many of these most of these are still in use, so let's adjust the camera slightly. QRA, that's still in QRI, not heard of that one before. QRM, are you being in <laughs> are you being interfered with? Yeah, okay. Some of the old um, advertisements. Oh this is a good one. I, I was laughing at this the other day. I will show you how to make real money in video and television. New spare time home training service gives quick knowledge plus actual practice. So I think that's actually um, how to make money building and transmitters etc. Probably. Cashing and want television rich opportunities. Yeah, going to be a reality TV show or something. Go on, focus. Focus. No, I'm focused. Oh, well, um, cashing ones, television rich opportunities. Besides strive, giving complete radio training, a wonderful advantage of this Sprayberry course is that you get the latest up to the minute instruction in television. Yes, become a TV star. Rush this, this coupon for big free book. Yes. Okay then. What else have you got? Air one coils, condensers, Gamatron offers a beam pentode. I love one of them is. More um, re relay stuff. Plugs and sockets on thermal panels. Communication equipment of universal quality. I wonder what's happened to all these companies. Did they just fizz out or did they just get brought out by a bigger company? Transmitting capacitors. Modulation monitor. <laughs> pocket volt ohm millimeter. Yeah, put it in your pocket, then drop it on your foot and be weak for being plastered for a week. <laughs> Was map of the world, Warwick or zones. And there we are, zone fourteen. The Carnell Dub Dubilia. Man, they did have some big weird names for the time. A bit, a bit of artificial respiration there, uh, if um, you have an accident in the shack. Proved dependability, less cost per hour of service. Mm hmm. Okay. Blee Lurie Crystals. Oh, this is, oh this, this is another laugh you can have with this. Danger, high voltage. Beware of zero adjusted devices on these placed in positive high voltage leads. Also be careful of dial set screws if the rotor shaft of the condenser is hot. Blah de blah de blah de blah. 
If you insist on making coupling adjustments etc with the transmotor on very bad practice, keep one hand behind you. Okay, bad, bad, bad. Do not work on high voltage circuits or make adjustments where it is necessary to reach inside the transmitter unless someone else is present. Yeah, if someone else is present, they can film you doing it, stick it on YouTube and uh, we all have a laugh. No, seriously, don't, don't mess with high voltage stuff. I had an electric shock once on my first job and it uh, hmm, was not pleasant. What else have we got? Sprag solves the safety problem with the exclusive Sprag lifeguard terminal protector or protection. No accident no accidental contact on Sprag transmitting condenser terminals. Okay, uh, amateur transformers again. Good engineering practice. It's quite a neat, quite a, quite a good uh, little book to have a leaf through just to see how much that's changed in the past 20, 30, 40 years. Learn the code the easy way. Machines for sale or rent. The instructor graph. There's someone on YouTube who's put a video of this on, and I'm sure I've seen one on eBay, so. Um, not something I'd buy because it's. Uh, well, I might actually buy one if it's if it's sealed for a decent price. I'll try and buy one. Probably wouldn't use it. Probably like just leave it on display. You know, it's actually quite fun to collect old radio equipment. So that's that might be a start of another hobby. Very interesting book, and uh, hours of reading. And got the index. So yeah, that's a bit of a leaf through from an old book from nineteen thirty. So. Uh, It'll be something interesting, um, something a bit different. Uh, normal videos will obviously resume soon. I'm going to take a bit of a break over Christmas. Uh, one or two more videos coming up on the Unit and Bearcat, so that series should end soon. And hopefully next year, if I have a job change, I'm actually get out and do some more amateur radio stuff. So. Uh, if this, if this is the last video before Christmas, have a very happy Christmas, a really happy New Year, and I shall see you again in the New Year. Until then, thanks very much for watching. Good DX and uh, 73. See you in the New Year.